Good afternoon, everybody. This is Darren Keaton with Tax Savvy, welcoming you to another unboxing of our battle box. So it's uh, the tenth of the month, so mine came in, I think, a little bit on the late side. We'll go ahead and give her an open. Now, obviously, I already know what's in this box because I've seen the other videos. And I believe I'm going to be very, very happy with this one. So let's dive right into it. This is going to be the self-defense box. And you can pause here if you'd like. But this is our Mission 32 self-defense. Uh, the overall, this is the Pro Plus box. So it's $150 from my cost. And it's $364 in value. So let's go ahead and look into the basic box. Okay, so first up is this Tactical Weapons ABKT uh, Punch Dagger. Let's go ahead and give this a quick look. So this is kind of like a little punch dagger that you'd wear around your neck. So you'll see here it's got like a little kind of a dog tag style lanyard. And here's the case on it. Uh, it's pretty cool. I don't know if you're going to get a G10 handle or not. And they just pull this out and you have yourself a little punch dagger for self defense. So I like it. I'm on hands a little big, but it certainly works. You can also probably cut, cut a box open if you need to or what have you. So I am definitely digging that. Um, the chain here, I think another YouTuber said it was kind of a lower gray. I think it was a. Uh, Chris at uh, Drop Four Survival, so I probably will get me a different kind of chain, but I do like it. I'm uh, definitely a fan of this. That came in at $9.99 value. Okay, so up next we have our own personal pepper spray. Uh, this here has, I think they said around 30 plus sprays in it. I mean, I'm sure that's not ongoing, but you just pop the top here, come over with it, and give it a spray. Uh, maximum strength. And, um, and this is obviously something really good to have. Can I show you some of the directions there? And that's from Saber Red. So usually I put some of these products to the test, but I will not be testing this out. I've done this before, and it's uh, not a fun thing. Honestly, I'd rather be tased. So, but I like this gear. I'll definitely be probably handing this out to some of my family members, um, so they can put this to really good use. All right, and then coming into that, we have our Saber Personal Alarm. Uh, I'm not going to do this, but there's a little battery here. It's a keychain. When you pull this out, you have a huge desk. Well, you know, we'll give it a try. Let me hit the pause button, open it up. All right, so here's the alarm right here. And what you do is you just take this little plastic piece out to save the battery. And then once you give this thing an open or a pull, very loud. Got my cat freaked out. Put it back in, you're good to go. So, definitely a good piece of kit to have. So. Very happy about that one as well. Uh, oh, sorry, the, the personal def the the defense spray, sorry, is a $10.99, and that key ring is a $9.99 value. And like I said about the stun guns, we also have a Viper Tech stun guns. I live in the state of Georgia, so we have less chaotic laws, I think, that allows us to have these type of stun guns. So let me get this thing open, and it will give it a look. All right, so the box comes with a little sheath here for it and also a charging cable and here's the actual unit here let me kind of give that a quick open and just like most you turn it on one time you have a good little flashlight hit it one more time you get a red light here pull the trigger and we just freaked out my little my little poodle let's do it one more time there you go buddy all right, so here's our Viper Tech stun gun. All right, so I'm telling you guys right now, that was an excellent basic box. I think you kind of get a little bit of everything here, you know, to sure up your personal defense. So for $24 cost plus a little shipping and handling, you get almost $55 worth of your value. And that's going to segue into your advanced box, which is a $50 cost. And that's going to be the Ready Man Wraith Fixed blade belt knife so let's get right into that so that is right here a nice looking box so when I saw this 
pretty excited about it because I kind of like carrying some of the fixed blades scout style or as you put this behind your back in your belt so you can kind of reach out and pull the knife out and like everybody's saying on the line it does have kind of a rubberized handle here it feels very good in the hand you have a little jimping right here a little serrated edge and kind of a tanto type uh, blade style so I really like that um, I do like the sheath let's put it in again no wiggling stays in real well you can also put um, some lanyards here and use this as a neck knife as well and you can take these off if you like but this is kind of where the belts come in so I'm very happy about this knife it's a very very cool idea very cool concept I, I'm a fan of ready man some of their gear all right so that's that that came in at a $59.95 value the next is gonna be the Battletech baton or coupon so there it is, which I'm very happy to see. This is, I guess, Daniel Dab's design. This is kind of BattleBox doing their own um, merchandise, if you will, which I'm very happy about. Um, ooh, very lightweight. You know, kind of a dull edge. You can kind of use this for self-defense. You know, kind of, kind of like what I would do with a, I have my battle, my BattleBox um, tactical pin. Same kind of thing, except this right here is, you know, you have kind of a cool way of holding your hand and using it to strike folks so very cool i like this a lot uh keep that coming battle box i think that's pretty dope all right so that is the coupon that has a 29.99 dollar value so now that's going to put us up to the pro series which is a hundred dollar cost and we have a, a 244 dollar value so you get everything in the box plus what i'm about to show you we have a mantis bk2a um it's kind of a cool little odd type of a knife it's called a bottleneck knife i've seen this online sorry not doing real good in the box anyway so it's kind of like a little butterfly type knife you know design where it does have a little pocket clip here and you push in here to release the little holder here and it kind of springs out and then you can squeeze it again and push it, you know, put it right back in, kind of like you did, did with the butterfly type knives. And sorry, I'm sticking a little bit. And then you have this kind of a cool blade, like a dual blade on it. And then, you know, so it's kind of a little knife. I'm kind of with the guy on drop, uh, with Chris on drop uh, forward survival. It's kind of not very easy to hold in the hand, and you can could kind of cut, choke up a little bit and actually cut yourself. But cool idea, cool little tool. Um, again, squeeze it. Flip it back around, and then you have a bottle opener. So uh, I think this is you know, a little gimmicky, but cool. You could definitely use it if you're a bar, you know, bartender or whatever. Or kind of a cool gift to kind of show someone and then use. Uh, I'll, I'll give it a go, but I, I just it's kind of hard to hold up or on it or choke up on it. But I will open boxes at work and just kind of play around with it a little bit and see how it goes. But they're showing that as $40. When I looked online, uh, I kind of went on the website, and I was selling them for about $19, but still kind of a, a cool knife, a little conversations piece. All right, and the next is going to be the Bashing Gear self defense tool. I kind of like this. I like Bashing Gear. I brought, I have bought several things from their website since being introduced to them on that knife that I got out of the, um, the EDT, EDC number two box. Um, Wallet, I was not such a big fan of, but I've gotten some patches, some other gears, some other knives from them, and I, I kind of dig it. This is pretty cool. You know, it's almost like a, um, you know, it's a tool, so you can carry it, but it's got like a, a knife opener here. It looks like they uh, put this aluminum or whatever in here and kind of welded it up front or at the top of it. But if you put your finger through it like this, you know, bottle opener here, self-defense tool here, glass breaker here. I mean, it pretty much makes it like, you know, brass knuckles. So, and what's really cool about it is, it fits right on my belt. So I'll definitely give that a whirl. It's not too, too heavy, but uh, I guarantee you I would not want to be punched by this thing. Put that on, give it a good punch. So, I'll, I'm digging this. I like this a lot. Um, and the value on that, if you want to buy it, is $59.99. So, then that's going to lead us up to the knife of the month, which is, I think, anybody and everybody's favorite thing. Again, Battletech, uh, Daniel Dabbs designed knife. It is the double locked Karambit. And I cannot wait. Let's 
to see this bad boy. Most ceramics, if you guys know, are more like fixed blades. This is not. And carry this. Be kind of cool to have a sheath. I don't know if I know with that last axe we had, they actually made a sheath, and I bought one. It was really dope. But uh, let's keep her open. Open it like that. Secure the lock with this right here. Now it's locked, double locked. You know, I've got pretty big hands, and this feels pretty good in my hand. A little tight, but I don't know. Looks pretty good. I kind of like it. And it's really cool to hook people, gut people, do you know whatever you got to do. But the look is absolutely phenomenal. I guess if you wanted to, you can put the clip here over to this side. But that's definitely a cool knife. I think they said it was D D two steel. Comes pretty damn sharp. So I'm liking this. So just pull that back in. There you go. Well, this is my knife, and I'm I'm definitely digging this. I'll put this on my EDC rotation. You know, the only bad thing is kind of, well, it's not as heavy as what you think, but then it's going to be kind of chunky in the pocket. So I'll uh, put this in my my pants pocket and kind of see how, how I like it. But definitely a cool knife, guys. So here we go. We have our self-defense tools. Um, pretty happy with mine. Um, the, you know, some of the Ready Man uh, fixed blade knife, I, I like that a lot. Um... You know, some of the values here that I'm seeing just kind of after I look at it. Um, and if you look here, it's a lot of value. But some of the things, you know, like this knife right here was about 20 bucks. Now, I mean, it is listed as 40 but you can get it online at, at 20 That not, that self-defense tool, I would not have bought that online without seeing it here. I'm happy that I have it here. So I'm, I'm kind of really glad that I'm getting the savings that I am with this box. Um, that belt knife, I would I, li I love that thing already but I would normally not just pay $60 and have it shipped out to me. So one of the things I really love about BattleBox, I guess what I'm trying to say is the value's there. Some of these items I may not buy because I think, hey, with shipping and everything, it's a little too costly. But in this box, it makes up for that. And, you know, everything here I'm very, very happy with. Some of the stuff I'm actually going to give away to probably my sister, aunts, uh, other people who may need it. I'm definitely keeping some of the cooler stuff for myself, but... All in all, very happy with uh, BattleBox. I'm really excited that they have their own brand. I don't want them to keep, you know, doing their own brand. But if they can give me some really cool knives, good, high-quality product at a great price, then I'm down for it. And I know that they're trying to do new things like offer schools and early shipping and their own brand. And it uh, looks to me like they're on, the, they're on the right path. So without too much more ram, I just want to say I'm really happy for this box. And um, please uh, like and subscribe. You guys have a blessed evening. Thank you.